another video with me. Hopefully you've been enjoying them so far. With this practice, once again, uh, we are going to start on our backs. So feel free to find your way into your savasana so your feet can come out as wide as the mat. Roll yourself down on the palms, face the seat. I always like to draw my shoulder blades back and down and just tuck them in and up here. It really helps with um, allowing my hands to face the seat. Remember, if this doesn't look good for your lower back, place the feet um, on the mat and the legs roll them together. And just taking a few moments wherever you are, just to allow all of you to feel nice and heavy. So really just allow yourself to sink down into the mat so any part of your body in contact feels really heavy and really supported by the yoga that we're doing or the floor. Just taking a pause here to really bring that awareness into the body. Just try and feel your, feel your awareness coming all the way from the toes, all the way up through the fingers as well. And then from there, bring the awareness onto the breath. Try and bring the breath through the nose for our yoga practice. Try to breathe nice and deep through the belly. And try to create a slow and steady equal breath to guide us through our yoga practice. So just taking these moments to really find the breath. If you find yourself creating a new journey, Breath with a gentle ocean wave sound, that's great, go with that. If not, just find that slow, steady pace of breath. Breathing deeply. When you're ready, just bring the hands out wide like a um, T shape so the hands are a little bit higher. And you can draw the knees in towards your chest. Good, we're going to take a few gentle twists to start our practice. But um, these, at the start of our practice, we're really trying to activate some of the muscles in our body. So this isn't going to be a passive stretch where we just let the knees hang. We might do that at the end. Um, but for now, bring your attention to your belly button. Imagine scooping your belly button back towards your spine and drawing it up towards your ribs. So you're really finding that scooping motion. That should stabilize your core. Take an inhalation here, and as you exhale, drop the legs halfway to the left as you look to the right. We're going halfway if you want to keep that nice and active. Stay here, three big breaths. Good. Inhale back to centre. Take a moment to check that core. Scoop the navel in and up. Exhale. Twist the other way. So the legs go over to the right. Maybe the gaze goes to the left. Three big breaths. Inhale back to centre. Good. We're going to do that again. Stay there and do the bend legs if that was enough for you. Or if you're feeling a little bit more challenged, you can straighten the legs. Good. Inhale. Exhale. Take the legs halfway or maybe just a quarter of the way to the left. Gaze can go to the right. Stay there. Good. Inhale. Back to centre. Engage that core. Scoop the navel. Exhale. So let's go over to the right. Maybe the gaze goes to the left. Maybe you just go a quarter of the way when you've got your legs straight. Good. 
Good. Inhale back to centre. Last round. Do any one of those variations again. So maybe you were doing the legs bent, maybe you're doing the legs straight. Or if you want to add a little bit more challenge, take the left leg over the right. Take an inhale here. And as you exhale, send the legs over to the right. The gaze is good. Inhale back to centre. If you've got your legs crossed, swap them the other way. If you're doing your counting, just go to the other side now. So you can inhale here, exhale, legs go to the left, gaze goes to the right. Inhale back to centre. Exhale, just bring it towards your chest, maybe give yourself a nice hug as you rock. From side to side. Good. From there, maybe you rock forwards and backwards and come all the way up to a tabletop pose. So just step to the feet back, hips and uh, knees in line, shoulders and wrists in line. Good. So here, be mindful of the front of the ribs if they're sinking down towards the floor. Keep them lifted towards the back of your t-shirt. Shoulders away from the ears. Good, we're going to move through some sort of, um, two different movements here. So, we're going to do three rounds on each side. So, it can be quite nice to bring the knees together for this, so feel free. As we inhale, we're going to lift that left leg out to the side. Exhale, lower it back right down. Inhale, lift up that right leg straight behind us. Exhale, lower it down. Inhale, lift the left leg out to the side. Exhale, lower it down. Inhale, lift the right leg behind us. Exhale, lower it down. Last one. Inhale, left leg out to the side. Exhale, lower it down. Inhale, right leg behind us. Straight back up, exhale, lower down. Good, we're going to do the same again, but on the opposite side. So as we inhale, the right leg is going to lift up out to the side. Exhale, lower it down. Keep the left leg bent, lift it straight up behind you. Exhale, lower it down. Good, two more times. Inhale, right leg lifts out to the side. Exhale, lower it down. Inhale, left leg lifts behind you. Exhale, lower it down. Last one. Inhale, right leg lifts out to the side. Exhale, lower it down. Inhale, left leg lifts behind you. Exhale, lower it down. Good. Take a breath in your tabletop pose. And then start sitting back through the heels, binding your toes. Remember, if you're at home, you need to put a blanket um, between your heels and your glutes. That's fine, or maybe you place one underneath your ankles for a bit of extra support. Take a moment, make yourself comfortable. We're going to be here for a few breaths. Root 
Exhale, forward dog. Root down, inhale, rise up. Exhale, hands come to the heart centre. Good, one more round, just like that. Inhale, reach up, rise to the Exhale, bend the knees, hinge the hips, take a forward fold. Release the head and neck. Inhale, lengthen up halfway, let's press the chest forward, broad hollows. Exhale, hands come down, right foot, steps back, drop back to the knee. Inhale, high low lunge. Exhale, hands come down. This time, walk back front foot a little bit further forwards. As you exhale, start straightening that front leg. Take a hot split. Good. Inhale, lifting up. Frame that front foot, step the left foot back, plank pose. Good. Take a breath there. Nice strong plank pose, shoulders away from the ears. Drop the knees into the elbows. Lower down to the mat. Good. Really meaningful cobra here. So press through the hands, zip up the legs, inhale, lift the chest. Maybe you just come halfway. Press the hands. Bring the um, almost like imagine you're sliding the hands back as you press that chest forwards. And then from there, lift up that a little bit higher. Keep pressing down, sliding back, pressing the chest. Good. Exhale down, face the dog. Three big breaths. Pressing through the hands, pressing through the feet, front of the hip bones, lift up, up and back. Head and neck relaxes. Good, when you're ready, right leg steps in between the hands, you can drop both knees, pick up that right leg and place it there. Good, inhale, low lunge. Exhale, hands come down, slide that front foot a little bit further forwards. Take an inhalation here. Exhale to half split. Inhale, lift them up. Place that foot back on the mat. Step the back foot to meet the front foot. As you exhale, inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, take the full fold, release the head and neck. Root down, inhale, rise up. Exhale, hands come back down through the heart center. Good, from there we move into um, some salutation beast style flow with a couple of different um, variations in there. So the first thing we're going to do is bend the knees, lift the arms, chair pose. Good, breathing back. We're just going to take it into a little bit of a balance. So we're going to ground down through that right leg. Step the left leg back three quarters of the way and just ever so slightly off the mat. Breathe there, maybe you can hold that foot, maybe you can add a little bit more glutes and channel in your balance. Last breath, inhale. Exhale, step the left leg back, chair pose. Inhale again. Exhale, step the right foot back three quarters of the way and just slightly off the mat. Good, from there. Maybe you hold that leg, hold that right leg. You can keep the foot down for balance, that's fine. Good, inhale again. Exhale, step back, chair pose. Inhale. Exhale, hold the foot, release the head neck. Inhale, look up, lengthen, halfway lift, broaden the collarbones, just press the chest forwards. Exhale, hands come down, step the feet back. Plank pose, space between the shoulders and the ears. Drop the knees, send the weight forwards as you hinge at the elbows, lower all the way down. Good, press the hands into the mat, shoulders lift back and down. Inhale, lift up, keep pressing through the hands, pull the hands back towards your heels, press the chest forwards, maybe lift up a little bit higher. Exhale, down the face and look. Good. Inhale, right leg lifts, three legged dog. Bending that right knee, opening up that hip into a fire hydrant variation. 
Keep the weight equally spread between the palms. Inhale here. Exhale, step the right leg in between the hands. Turning that left foot so the toes are facing the long edge of your mat. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, warrior two. Shoulders back and down. Knees stacked over the ankle, not collapsing in. Pick up that inner arch, zip up that core. Breathe in. Good, three of these vinyasa sequences here, we're going to be moving through the extended um, warrior and the reverse warrior. So drop the right hand down to that right leg, reach the top arm up. Good, inhale, extended warrior pose. Extended side angle. Good, inhale, reaching up. Exhale, reverse that warrior, slide the left hand down the right leg. Inhale, reaching up. Exhale, extended side angle, elbow onto knee, reaching up and over. Inhale, reaching back, warrior two. Exhale, reverse that warrior. Good. Inhale, coming back, warrior two. Exhale, hands come down, turn that back foot so the toes are facing the front of the grip, front of your mat. Square the hips so the hips will open. Now let's square. Hands come alongside the body. Well, first of all, we're going to bring the fingers to the hips and the ribs, and just think about moving them a little bit closer together, keeping that motion as you lift the chest slightly. Good. Hands come down. Try and maintain that, that line that we just found. As you start shifting that weight onto that right leg, lift up from that back leg. Press through the heel or point the toes of that back foot. Try and keep that core, hips and ribs moving towards each other, chest slightly lifted. Warrior three, breathing in. If you need to keep that leg down and just practice lifting it, that's fine. Take the balance if you need it. Last breath, inhale. Exhale, step back foot down, hands frame that front foot, step back, downward facing dog. Good. Inhale, left leg lifts, three legged like dog. Bending that left knee, heeling towards the glutes, open up that left hip, fire hard in pose, keep the weight equally spread between the hands. Good. Exhale, step that left foot in between the hands. Turn the toes of the right foot to face the long edge of your mat. Inhale, windmill those hands up. Take a warrior two. Good. Knees stacked over the ankle, not collapsing in. Inner arches of both feet are lifting. Core is zipped up. Shoulders relaxing down. Gaze towards the fingers. Stay and breathe. Together here, but still keeping that chest 
Lift it so we're not rounding from the spine. Keep that chest lifted. Hands along the side of your body. Start rounding now through that left leg. Step the right leg in a little bit. And exhale to your warrior. So when you can point or flex that back foot as long as there's an energy moving through it. Good. Try and find a nice straight line from the foot all the way through the crown of the head. Keep thinking about hips and ribs moving towards each other, but keeping the top of the chest lifted in slightly. Good. Last breath. Exhale, step that foot back down. Hands frame the front foot. Step that foot back. Downward facing dog. Good. So you've got an option here to stay in breathe, or maybe you take a child's pose, or maybe you want to move through a vinyasa sequence. Inhale to plant pose of Good. Exhale, drop the knees, lower all the way down to the mat. Press through the hands. Inhale, lift up cobra, make it really meaningful. Press through the hands, bring the hands back towards the heels, press the chest forward, keep the chin lifted. No, sorry, keep the chin a little bit tucked. Good. Exhale, down the facing dog. Pause, child's pose, and you want to stay there. Good. Down dog, nice and strong, pressing through the hands, pressing through the feet, lifting the front hip bones up and back, crown of the head relaxing. Breath, nice and strong, slow and slow. Good, look towards the hands. Walk the feet towards the hands. Inhale, halfway lift, broaden the columns. Exhale, take a forward fold, release the head and neck. Inhale, find your way back to your chair pose. Good. So in our chair pose, remember the knees don't collapse down towards the mat. We can sink through the heels and send the knees towards the back of the mat. Good. Nice and sturdy for our ankles when we do that. Inhale here. Exhale, step the left leg back three quarters of the way and slightly off the mat. Maybe you hop. Maybe you need to keep the toes down for balance. So that's fine. Inhale here, exhale to chair. Inhale here, exhale right foot back, three quarters of the way. Maybe the foot stays on the floor, you're working with glutes really hard here. Maybe you've got a little bit extra, and you balance. Inhale here, exhale to chair. Inhale, come all the way up to standing, exhale, sigh it out. Good. From there, inhale, reach the arms up. Maybe take it into a slight back bend this time, pressing the hips forwards. Exhale, bend the knees, hinge at the hips. Take a forward fold. We're going to stay here for a few breaths. So maybe you grab onto the elbows with your right dog pose. Maybe the feet come a little bit wider. Maybe you bring the calves and the forearms in contact and press the calves into the forearms. Good, if you feel really nice to bring a little bit of resistance there. Activate the muscles when we're pressing against something. It's why we often press into the floor as well here, so really think wherever you are, pressing into the floor. Good, when you're ready, place the hands down on the mat, Step back, downward facing dog. Good. In your down dog, step your left foot about a foot's distance forward and then out to the side of your mat. Good. From there, we're going to come into a side plank. So step the right hand a couple of inches forward. It's going to give your shoulder a bit more space. And then turn the toes to face the left. Good. From there, lift, press through the right hand, really energetic, shoulder away from the ear. 
Inhale, left hand reaches up. Keep pressing through the feet. And then drop that left hand down towards the floor as you lift the hips as high as you can. Take a breath here, and then as you exhale, just start lowering that right hip down to the mat, lowering that left hand down. We're going to do that a few times with the breath. If it's too much for the hand, try coming down onto the forearm. Inhale, lift the up. Side plank, hand comes overhead, lift the hips. Exhale, lower down. Hand comes over the right leg. Inhale, lift the hips, hand comes overhead. Exhale, sink the hips, long hand comes parallel to the low leg. Good, last one. Inhale, lift up, side plank. Exhale to downward facing dog or child's pose, especially if you need to keep your wrists a little bit stretched, just come down into child's pose, give them a nice wiggle. Good, when you're ready, place the hands back down on the mat. Lift the hips, downward facing dog. We're going to do the same again on the other side. So step the right foot about a foot distance forwards. Step the left hand a couple of inches forwards. Good, from there, turn both toes to face the right. Good, from there, press energetically through that left hand. Space between the shoulders and the ears. Lift that right hand up into a side plank. Good. Breathe here. Send the arm overhead, almost like we're reaching down to the mat to lift the hips nice and high. And as you exhale, start dropping the hips. Send the arm parallel over that left leg. Inhale, lift the hips. Right arm reaches up and over. Exhale, drop the hips. Right arm reaches up. Good. Inhale, lift the hips. Right arm reaches up and over. Lift the hips as high as you can. Exhale, lower down. Hand comes power. Last one. Inhale, lift the hips. Side plank. Exhale, down facing dog. Good. Drop the knees. Take a child's pose. Give the fingers a nice bit of a wiggle. Good, place the hands back down on the mat, lift the hips, down the facing dog. Good. Step the left foot on the outside of the left hand. You can turn your toes so that a slight 45 degree angle. If you want to step that right foot back, drop that knee and take a lizard lunge. So you want to be looking forward slightly without tapping the head up. So keep that chin a little bit tight. Good, breathe there in your lizard. If you want to roll onto the outer edge of that left foot and press that left hand into that leg, opening up that chest, you can do. Keeping that right hand nice and strong. If anyone wants to bend that back leg and take that left hand back, you can take this variation of a lizard lunge instead. Releasing the left hand down, releasing the right leg. Take one last breath in your little lunge on the left side. Turn the toes, lift the hips, down facing dog. Good. Same again, right side. So right foot comes on the outside of the right foot. Toes can face forwards, but you might find if you turn the foot, the toes out about 30 to 45 degrees, you might get a really nice hip stretch. You can step that left leg back a little bit, drop the knee, broaden the collarbones here. Don't try not to round the, round the spine nice, broad chest if you tuck the chin slightly and look up. Press the foot into the mat and the back foot into the mat. Breathing there. If anyone wants to come onto the outer edge of that right foot, please feel free to. But do keep the outer edge pressing. There is still some activation there as you press down. Right hand can come onto right knee as you open up that chest. Good. Option to stay there and breathe. Or stay in the first variation. 
Or maybe you want to bend that knee, bend that back knee, sorry. Open up that chest and take a bound variation of this lunge. Breathing wherever you are. Left hand still pressing, left knee is still pressing, right foot is still pressing. Hands come down, release that back foot. Take one last breath in your lizard lunge. Exhale, downward facing dog or child's pose.
soles of the feet together in a Badmanasana. Press the feet in together. You can extend the hands forward or bring them down for a little bit of support as we lower ourselves down into a reclined Badmanasana. So, press the feet in together. You've got the option to stay here or maybe you grab onto the outer edge of your mat and lean forward for the hips and breathe here. Pressing the feet being together, noticing how that sends a chain of activation from the leg muscles. Keep that momentum, that activation pressing. If it doesn't feel good to have the hips lifted, keep them down, that's fine. Last breath. And then rise and lower down here to the mat. Bring the knees in closer. So the heels in closer. Breathing out. We're going to pick up the right leg and place it just above the ankle, just over the left knee. Bring the hands out to the side and then just drop the legs over to the left. The gaze can go to the right. Breathing in. A few more rounds of breath. Here, when you're ready, come back to centre. Maybe you stay there for a few breaths, or maybe you spread the needle. So send the left hand on the outside of the left knee, and the right hand through the nice gap you just created. Bring the hands, um, you can interlace them round the leg, round the left leg. As you just breathe here, it's a nice hip opener. Keep the feet a little bit active. Maybe you flex the toes. Maybe you press the legs in towards each other just to get that activation in the muscles. Good. When you're ready, release the hands, release the legs. Swapping sides. So right leg comes down. Left leg just above the ankle, just above the knee. Hands out right, take it first into a gentle twist. So legs go over to the right, gaze goes to the left. Breathing there. Really nice way. We've worked with the loops quite a bit today for some of our balances. This is a really nice release for any of those, um, any of those muscles that we've been using. When you're ready, lift up back to centre, keep the legs as they are, thread the left leg through the needle like hole that we've created, right hand stays on the outside of the right leg, maybe you need to lift the hands, flex the feet so we've got a little bit of activation, and maybe you press the left leg into the right and right into the left just to get that little bit of activation in our final moves. Good. Releasing down. And then we'll finish our practice today with a um, happy baby pose. So to start our happy baby, just bring the feet down onto the mat. And just really pay attention now to the natural curve of your spine. So maybe the, low, the lumbar part of the spine is lifted slightly off the mat. And your sacrum area, you can really feel the heavy sinking into the mat. So that's right at the top of the of the loops. Good. Keep the back part, keep the sacrum pressing into the mat. The lower back might come down onto the mat, but trying to press the lower back into the mat is the sacrum pressing down. 
Um, lift the hands up towards the ceiling and then start lifting the feet towards the ceiling as well. Keep the legs bent, keep the knees reaching down towards the um, armpits and maybe you can clasp the feet, maybe you need to take hold of the shins or maybe it's the back of the thighs. Wherever you are that's fine. Just try and press that sacrum area into the mat. Good, maybe you rock slightly from side to side on that sacrum. Maybe you can feel the natural curve of the spine a little bit here now, rather than pressing the lowest part of the back into the spine. We're trying not to do that today. Good, last few breaths. Good, when you're ready, just release down and get ready to find your way into your savasana. If you want to, take your savasana in a padakanasana um, pose where you've got the soles of the feet together and the knees out right, you can. It can be a really nice way to end the practice and open up the pose a little bit more. So if you want to stay here for a few minutes, that's fine. If not, extend the legs out on the mat, let the feet roll out to the side, or if that doesn't feel good for your lower back, Feet on the mat, knees rolling. I'm going to take a supine fabric and ask for my Savasana today. So, wherever you are, just make yourself comfortable. Let everything go. Any thoughts that come by, let them go as quickly as they came. You don't need to follow the thoughts. This will just be able to quieten the mind, soften the breath, and relax. Just start bringing some awareness back into the body. If you're still in a superman back mass, then maybe stretch the legs out in front of you, maybe you're moving as you with the toes. Reach the arms up overhead, giving yourself a really nice stretch on the tips of the fingers and the tips of the toes. Taking a pause, maybe roll over onto the right side, make a pillow, and then press yourself up to a seated position. Good, hands to heart centre and dog yoga. Take a moment and practice gratitude. Thank yourself for making time out of your day to practice yoga. Hopefully feeling a lot of the positive effects that this can have on our body and our mood. Good, when you're ready, rub the hands together, create some lovely warmth between the hands. Place the hands over the eyes. Gently open the eyes open, but first the hands. And then slowly move the hands away back to heart centre. Namaste. Thank you all for practising with me today. I just realised I forgot to plug in the fancy new microphone overall. So once again, the sound quality on this one probably hasn't been very good, but we'll try again next week.